Morning guys, Chris Bale, aka Guernsey Bird Nerd. Welcome to Wildlife Wednesdays with the Ordinary Wildlife Trust. As the first sleepy rays of sunlight pierce the heavy hanging mist to liberate the sodden world below from the crude cold shackles of night, a marsh harrier drifted purposefully across the glistening dew-laden meadows, its silent silhouette serving as a shadowy reminder to all of his prowess and majesty. I shuddered in awe as I watched it deliberately and effortlessly manoeuvre, magnificent and masterful, subtle and stealthy. The warmth of the car heater was now a distant memory and had been replaced by a dank chill, hazy but tangible with anticipation. From the haunting call of a single curlew, vague and distant, came a gradual crescendo of sound, building to a cacophony of noise. A thousand voices each celebrating every conquering shard of light that warmed my face and lungs. The chiff chaff's descant melody, the chetty's explosive staccato bursts, my ears were ringing to nature's orchestra. Were they performing this overture just for me? I shuddered a second time. The world seemed at peace and in good order, but I knew that would only last until I read the headlines on the newspapers displayed at the garage. So I just pretended, whilst I could, that I was the last man alive, and if I wanted to contribute to this dawn chorus, then I should. I hummed Alka Holiday by Teenage Fan Club, at a rather reverent level. My heart was filled with the joy that the robin and the wren expressed so colourfully against such a foggy, monochrome backdrop. I was driven by the absolute thrill of being alive and I wanted to share it. I'd made it through the night and I wanted everyone to know that I would live that new day to the full. And not just because it could have been my last, no, 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 but because I could and I should as an example to those who can never see beyond their doomsaying tabloids, the rising price of petrol, and their own consumer-driven misery. The Marsh Harrier had long since disappeared, but in that brief yet glorious encounter, I felt both humbled and empowered. Humbled by realising my place in the world, empowered by realising I had one. When I was asked by the Ordinary Wildlife Trust if I'd like to contribute to their Wildlife Wednesday series, naturally I was thrilled. And when they suggested the topic of the Dawn Chorus, I was elated. It is without doubt my favourite natural spectacle that is accessible locally. The problem for me was how to convey the feeling it invokes and stirs up inside. That was the reason I wrote that opening poem a few years ago. Each and every bird and song adds something to the overall sound and effect, and I always felt that to dissect it and recognise individual parts would do a disservice to the beauty of its entirety. As I said in the poem, it's like an overture. Each part is as important as the next in its contribution to the whole. So the first thing I'll implore you to do is just step outside and enjoy it for yourself. Experience it wash over you and celebrate life and the new day with the birds. Now as it happens, the first Sunday in May is International Dawn Chorus Day. Every year, people from all over the world go on organised walks with local groups or just set their alarm for early, make a cup of tea and sit on their doorstep to enjoy the sweet and uplifting sound from there. So that is this Sunday, the 3rd of May. I'd really encourage you to embrace this opportunity and give it a go. Just to reinforce the fact that you don't have to roam far from home to experience the Dawn Chorus, this footage was taken from my bedroom window a few weeks ago. Now I recognise that I am truly blessed to live where I do, but it does go to show that the cup of tea on the doorstep is an option for some. Others may have to head to a local park perhaps, so this next section is me doing just that last Sunday morning. Early last Sunday morning. Here we are at Summary Park. I've just parked. It's uh, probably about ten past five in the morning, so I can already hear the 
dawn course has already started. I've heard hundreds of birds on the way here in the car with the window down. Um, I'm going to take a walk around. Obviously, I'm just using a torch from my camera, so excuse the, the glare in my glasses. I know what we could do. Right, here we go. Morning, guys. We're at Sorry Park. There's no glare in my glasses. I'm just using the torch from my camera, uh, from my phone, actually. That's Sorry Park. I'm going to take a walk around um, and listen out for my top five birds. We'll hear other birds, but we're listening out for the blackbird, the song thrush, the robin, the chaffinch, and the wren. Okay, so hopefully I'll be able to pick those out um, and get close enough that we can hear them on the camera. But it's absolutely coming alive out there, so the visual won't be very good. I will film it. That's what we're going to try and do. There we go. That's what we're going to try and do. Right off the bat, guys. There's a song thrush. Right here in the car park. Two black birds here singing over side at the moment as well. I'll try and get closer to them. It's beautiful. I hope the camera, it's not the greatest microphone in the world on the camera, but I hope it is picking up a lot of the noises and the different songs. I've got a blackbird just around this corner. I'm gonna... Oh, that sounds beautiful. It's got to be one of my favourites. So mercurial, almost like a liquid, whistly quality. Blackbird now, I've got a robin bar. Blackbird's up there. I've just walked for a whole section without the record button on. You can see the colour of the sky behind me just changing now. And I'm going to walk back through that section because there was song thrush, a couple of blackbirds, wren. There's a robin just behind me. I'm going to head back through this section because there's trees on both sides. It makes it a bit harder to pick out all the individual songs. But it will give you...
some red. It's a great tip that's making that choo 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 noise. Blackbirds in here. Mm. There's a song thrush up here. Bird in here. Awesome. You can get a good local park and have a walk around there for the dawn chorus. The birds are so used to people, they might stop singing when they're 12 feet away, but they won't fly away really because they're so used to seeing people. What lovely wren in here! <laughs> There's an awful lot going on in here. I can't even talk to you through all the birds that are in here. Just what a noise, it's beautiful. Got blue tits in there. Wood pigeons getting involved. That's the trouble with that part, this, the cacophony of noises there, as I said in my poem. But to pick out, you almost spoil the experience by trying to pick out individuals. So if we go down this next section, I'll try and pick, there'll be, there's fewer trees, so there'll be clearer individual birds, I think, I hope. It's amazing. I can't imagine anybody at this time having as much fun as I am right now. Well, I probably can. Right, what did I say? We need to find Chaffinch. <laughs> they usually come out a little bit later. Or often do. <laughs> Just as if by magic. One in the tree behind me. There you go. See, a chaffinch is different from the robin, the song thrush, and the blackbird, and the fact that it sings a repetitive phrase all day, every day. And that's exactly it. So, while it's on my list of songbirds, the song might not be as exciting as the others, but just for being purely relentless. He'll be doing that for the rest of the day. Brilliant bird. So that was a chaff inch. I would go down that track there, but it's a gravel track and you'll just be able to hear my feet crunching, which if it doesn't annoy you, it would really annoy me. <laughs> I 
What a glorious morning. I mean, the colours in the sky are just... All that part's starting to happen. I have to excuse my bed here. My alarm went off at five. I was out the door at about two minutes past. So. I didn't bring my entourage to sort out my hair and makeup. So guys, I did continue to walk around the park for another 40 minutes and the communal singing did eventually die down. I'll not share all of that footage, but safe to say I had an absolute blast. All I can say now is that I hope you didn't find this beard and nasal hair footage too tedious and that the sounds of the birds has inspired you to get out there and take a closer look and listen. Perhaps International Dawn Chorus Day this Sunday is your time. Thanks to the Ordinary Wildlife Trust for all their amazing work and for the invite to contribute to Wildlife Wednesday. Take care and stay safe from me, Chris Bale, a.k.a. the Guernsey Bird Nerd.